Hi, my name is Tyler Han and I am the lead developer for Chairman. So today we'll quickly go over how to register and use Chairman. First of all, you need to go to the register tab and we're going to enter in our email, password, uh, conference name, I'm just going to put Chairman, and country, I'm currently in Canada, so Canada. We'll agree to the terms and conditions and the privacy policy. After registering your account, you can save your password and log in. My information is already saved, so I'm just going to log in. The first thing you need to do is enter in a committee name. So, for instance, we'll use the United Nations Security Council for this demonstration. First of all, you need to enter in the countries that are in your committee. So, I'll have to add in the P5. France, United Kingdom, the United States, and of course, China. If you ever want to select a country that's not, um, that you don't want to type in, you can simply go to select from list and select it from a list. So for instance, we'll add in Nepal and the Netherlands as well. And now if you ever want to enter in a country or delegation that's not available um, in the dropdown or from the list. So for instance, if we're going to add in Antonio Guterres, the current Secretary General will just enter his name and press enter. We're going to press save. And now this will take you straight into Chairman. This button here allows you to go into full screen for a better presentation. If you ever want to change this list, simply press edit delegations and you can remove or add in more delegations. So let's add in Bulgaria here. And press save. So the first thing you probably need to do is do a roll call. So suppose Antonio is here today, Canada is here, Bulgaria is not here, China is here, France is here. Nepal's not here, Netherlands is here, Russia, United Kingdom, and the United States is not present today. So after you would go into the primary speakers list, and all the countries you have selected as present would appear in this list here. So let's start with Canada, and maybe France wants to speak next, Netherlands, and then Russia. If you ever need to rearrange the order of this list, simply drag the country you want to the top. Press start to start speaking, next to go into the next country and press start. If you ever want to yield the remaining time of a delegation to another delegation, simply press yield and you can enter in, say, Russia and press start again. Pause is to pause and the secondary speakers list is functionally identical as a primary speakers list. Next is the single speakers. So any country that you select will just get to speak here. China, Netherlands, France, and Antonio. So by default, all countries that do not have a flag or delegations that do not have a flag get the UN logo. But if we ever want to change that, we can go over to admin. And here we have Antonio. And I have an image of him on Wikipedia. I'm going to copy the image address. I'm going to press here and I'm going to enter in the image address. Now Antonio is himself. And we'll go back to chairman. Notice the attendance is all saved and we'll go back into single speakers and when I press Antonio you notice that his image is now a portrait of himself. Next we have the moderator caucus so this allows you to differentiate the total speaking time and each individual delegation speaking time. If you ever want to make changes to this simply press here and I change it to 1.30, and if I want to change the committee time to 20 minutes, I just enter in 2,000. So 20 minutes. If you ever want a topic for a moderated caucus, simply enter it there, and you can always change the country. Next, the honor moderated caucus is very straightforward. Another interesting feature that Chairman has is the ability to record motions. So suppose Canada or China made a motion for a moderated caucus of duration uh, 20 minutes and a speaking time of 1.30 and the topic is the South China Sea and we'll add this to caucus or maybe Canada has suggested another motion in the meantime and China's motion wins out and you can tell the total number of delegates is this number here majority is here and two-thirds is this number we'll press add to caucus 
course, we need to select that it is a moderated caucus. And we're going to add to caucus. And now China has the floor. Press pause. And then um, we're going to go over to the unmoderated caucus. We've already done that. Statistics allows you to see how much each country has spoken for and, and where they've spoken. This allows you to better decide how to allocate speaking time for countries that may speak too much. Uh, notes, you would enter in notes about your committee. Now, within settings, you can change your committee name. So we'll go back to UNSC. And you can also change the color scheme of chairman. So we'll change it to blue here. And that's about it. I hope you enjoyed this presentation and I hope you enjoy using Chairman. Good luck with your conference.